describe what? Describe a school that you might want to start. What would you study? Well, look, and in this country, I won't want to be in. Why not? Because I wouldn't. Why? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. When has a school, when has a school ever taught me that, uh, that one time in my country there were Indians, like Taino Indians? You know where I learned that? I learned that from, uh, from, uh, from uh, Benji. Benji. You understand? I learned it from him. When has any school ever taught me, you understand, that at one time, you understand, I'm, I'm uh, like you would say, I'm a mixed race with an African. I never knew that. You understand? Never. Did you have to find that out around the block? Yes, yeah. I did. I mean, if, it, it, listen, I if I would still be in school, I wouldn't know that right now. I don't want to listen. I don't, I don't believe in the school system. And let me tell you, I'm 20 years old, and, f and I know a lot. Let me tell you, man, the enemy around the Bronx now, at this very moment, is the policemen. See, they don't know how to communicate with the brothers in this, around the area. See, they look at us as black and Puerto Ricans. Fuck that shit, man. That's what they look at us. You understand? We try to communicate with them. Come on, shut up, man. You try to communicate with them, right? And, man, you just try to talk. They just beat one of my brother's headers, man, not, not too long ago. Five of them, man. Five of them, man. And the guy ain't got no mother. Shit, no weapons, man. And then if we do something, we'll be wrong. You understand? Yes, this is a warrior thing. Yes, it is. And we're here to defend our brothers and sisters against people like them. They're very racist, man. If you're going to communicate, communicate, man. If you're going to strike at us, we're going to strike back. Right on. Okay. If you're your enemy, you all said the same thing. The enemy is the establishment. The enemy is the hunkies. The enemy is the cops. Well, the did. enemy is me. I know, dig this, dig this. Why aren't you, you together? I got why. something. Because they started it all. They started who started it all? The establishment. The, look. Yeah, but why are you fighting? Wait, wait, let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You gotta look at that. Look at that. I fact. know, man. No, it was America, man. The day that my mother came over on that ship, man, and she came here and they pushed her in the ghetto. Maybe they pushed her because she wanted to go, or maybe because she had to go. Chances are because she had to go. Yeah. She had to do a lot. And she was harassed and fucked over and fucked over and fucked over and they fucking over me and they fucking over them. And it's time the motherfuckers gotta yeah. stop, man. Yeah. Hey, we were poor. Hey, check this out. And then again, hey, we Puerto Ricans were forced to come here in the beginning, man. See, our parents came here to look for better jobs, man. You know, like a better improvement, because at the time, the island, you know, was fucked up, man, you know? And like they say, that slogan, love it or leave it, I'll leave it if you give me the money. You leave here. Still is, man. I'll, I'll leave it, right. definitely, I will. Yeah. See, because I want to do something, man. They don't want, you see, I come to try to get a job. They said, well, you're going to have to get, get a haircut, because, you know, the hair is not going to do the motherfucking job. It's you, not the hair. Well, you, you, you can't go because you, your pants. That's a lot of bullshit, man. As long as I'm wearing something, right? But they said, well, you just can't come like this, man. So, effort. I'm with my brothers, man. This is my family. I do something for them and my community. Fuck America, man. What can you do to draw this group closer together so you get stronger? So you can Hey, communication, with man. Communication. Education, too. See, like, like we were saying before, man, like the true edu uh, educators is going around, man. It's political parties like Young Lords, MPI, Black Panther Party. They're teaching true education to our brothers and sisters on what's happening now in the United States. You see? Like, it's good, like my brother said before, Lincoln and Washington. What did Lincoln do to my people? Thank you. Did, uh, did Lincoln free my people? No, it was Betance. Right? Was it George Washington that went out there to fight? Oh, yes, he fought against the British. He didn't fight against the Spaniards. See, there's a big difference. If we Puerto Ricans don't know that, we might as well call ourselves Americans, man. And I'm not American. Oh, nothing, man, not even American. We don't know who we are because we're not Americans. That's right. United States. <laughs> What do you, would you prefer to be? What do you want to be? Puerto Rican, no, man. No, 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 what we are. We are Puerto Ricans, man. And black, man. And black. And black, you know. And we're here, like, like you, you were talking before, as far as the establishment did. You know what? America, period. When they went to Puerto Rico, they told us, America is beautiful. America, land of opportunity. Streets of gold. You know, and they said, America. <laughs> they, they put America so nice and so big, it was a beautiful dream. And when we came on those banana boats, that, you know, and we came to the United States, America, land of opportunity, and we looked at the ghetto, the way they pushed us into the ghetto, because they didn't give us jobs, they bought us. It was like a damn nightmare. I'm talking about this. You want to go back? You yes, know what? Please. Why not? You know what? Can we have Puerto Rico Libre? That's the way I think. Yeah. When you go back, when you go back, what's going to happen to your black brothers that you've now made an association with and you're beginning to build? As soon as we liberate Puerto Rico, they all could come to Puerto Rico. That's the way I feel about it. That's what I've been telling the 
Yankees, we told the Yankees, leave the island the same way you came, leave it, you know. As soon as we liberate it and we're fighting for our, for our goals, you know, we're pushing, we're all striving for the same thing, man. We are depressed people, like I said once before. Once we get that together, we can start everything. I don't know if there's something that, that has been made clear or not clear, but uh, Benji just said something. If Puerto Rico were liberated in the way that you're talking about it, could Pat Watson go there? Yeah. Yeah. He got something to offer. He's not gonna bullshit us. Right. Cause I think that I if mean, he does, right. I mean, if he's gonna come in, take from the island. Right. What's that? That's what all these people are doing over there. They are taking from the island. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. 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 Last time I went to Puerto Rico was in 1958, and I went back again in 1971. And I left that island disgusted, wanted to vomit over everything over there. And why? Because that island was just cut up. And you know, this is progress, but progress for who? Progress for who? Those hotels coming up and hotels for us? No. You no. better not believe that. It's not for us. It's for me. I got to go to the beach. What's your name? Patrick, it's for you. It's for you and your wife and your children. And, your and if we, as I did, walk up to the Hotel San Juan, and even with my white husband, they weren't letting us in. You see? So, yeah, we got to go back there and we got to clean it out. And then, if people such as you come and have something to offer us, Fine. Don't infiltrate. But don't take away from us because too much has been taken away from us as it is. Right. Oh. All right. Manny, 